Y'all ain't subscribed yet? Man, like, share, subscribe. Hit that like button right now. Adrian. Adrian, so you know that this is this is not Jesus Christ, right? Okay, so what does Jesus Christ look like? Like you. Like me, okay. So if Jesus Christ looked like me, who's Jesus Christ's people? You are Jesus Christ's people. Okay, so give me Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. As Jesus Christ's people, how should we conduct ourselves? How should we live our lives as Jesus Christ's people? Like him? Okay, so how did Jesus Christ live? I be able to tell you that. Let's see. The Bible will tell us. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Huh? And now Israel. Uh, now Israel. You are Israel, sis. The Lord is speaking to us and us only. Bro. The Bible's only written to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Israelites of the Bible. Go ahead. That's right. What? Do what the Lord thy God require of thee. But since this book is written to us, that means it requires something from us. We have a job. We have a responsibility, okay? You with me? Go ahead. But to fear the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in all his ways, uh -huh. and to love him, uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. It's required of the Israelites, the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, to serve God with all our might. So how do we do that? Do you know? Study our Bible. So follow his rules, commandments, and study our Bible. All praises, sis. Let's get it from the Bible. Read. Finish it up. To keep the commandments of the Lord. Like you said, to keep the commandments of the Lord. But now we got to ask ourselves, what are the commandments of the Lord? What commandments should we be keeping? Bring it out. Do you know, sis? You don't know all praises. We're going to let you know today. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Because the laws of God, the commandments of God, are not hard to do. You walking out the side just having clothes on is keeping a law according to um, the American laws, right? Turn, not turning on a red light, right? Go on what it said when it's green. These are all simple commandments we keep because the government says so, but God has his laws that we got to keep too. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. It says a man should not put on a woman's garment. Right. Now my sister, what is a woman's garment? Yes. A dress. So if you see me come out this car, right? With a long dress on, I'm teaching you the Bible. How would you, how would you look at me? I wouldn't, I would keep walking. You keep walking, why? Because I ain't supposed to dress like that. Right. A man should not be dressing like a woman. Right. 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 Okay, read it from the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh-oh. But it says a woman should not dress like a man. So what does a man wear if he don't? If he's not supposed to wear a dress? Pants. pants. Right. Okay. Now, sis, let's ask ourselves. A woman wears pants? Or a woman wears dresses, right? And a man's supposed to wear pants. So what are you wearing right now? Yeah, I got on pants. So what that mean? You're not following the commandments. But, so, are you going to continue wearing pants? Whoa, whoa, sister, sister look at this right here. What, what's this? She said it's Colorado, it's going to get cold. Look, God does not give a damn about the weather outside. God's not feeling like, hey man, it's hot outside. Hey. Break my commands, worse pants. Hell no! Nah. Look at this. Our sisters was picking cotton in the fields with dresses on. When it was hot all seasons. Snowing outside. Hot to 10 out. degrees. God didn't give a damn. He said, keep my commandments. Because the reason why we was picking that cotton is because we said, you know what? I'm going to do my own thing. I'm not finna keep the commandments. And God slapped us with a slave ship. He made the white man call us three-fifths of man. He wrote the wedding lynch letter saying that we got to put the Negroes against each other because they broke God's commandments, sis. And it's simple we were in pants. You going to let pants cause you to be a slave forever? Give me, finish, finish that scripture out because it says something about how God feel about that. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Why? For all that do so. It says all women who wear pants, all men who wear dresses, go ahead. Yeah. 
are abomination. God says you are disgusting. You want it, you want God to look at you as disgusting, sis? Because this Bible says the people in this book, the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are the greatest people to walk the earth. But you put on them pants shows God that you're disgusting. You don't want to live like that, sis. God said you're the greatest people to ever walk the earth. You don't want to be a disgusting thing to God. It's easy to put a dress on, sis. We got stores every corner. If you can't afford, you got a Goodwill. We can, there's so many excuses we make not to keep the laws of God, and it's going to continue to keep us living this, this, this hell hole we live in. It. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.